And I'm thinking we have this 26 foot possible billboard that could be out there to promote the charity, promote the actual owner of the boat, you know, Taco Marine. They're huge in the fishing industry. You introduced me to a special artist. I know you do a lot of stuff in-house design-wise, but for special projects like this, you work with different artists. Who did you turn me on to and give me some of his credentials? Because I'm telling you, this guy's amazing. His name is Dennis Friel. Um, well known in the local area here. He's got most of his artwork in the IGFA Hall of Fame. Um, very well known like a Guy Harvey or a Kerry Chen. Um, so it's somebody we worked with before and he does a lot of custom stuff including cartoonish looking things. So we think he's the appropriate person. This is Dennis Friel who is a marine artist yes. and apparently your background is as a creative director for 15 years in advertising. Mm -hmm. It's very rare to have a marine artist that also knows graphic artistry. Okay, and you're everything here. And Dennis, I had an idea, you know, I was talking about uh, and thinking about Taco Marine and thinking back with, with Wade Davis creating for my boat wrap on my CV, this giant mahi. And in my head, I was putting those two things together. What if it was a giant mahi actually catching a fish taco and, and, and you know they do fishing gear mm -hmm. that's all I pretty much said to you you took it and went to the 10th power on creating this new boat wrap and can we begin with uh, where you would start on a project like this I know you're doing graphic artistry but does all of the art get done on the computer screens no not all of it I mean at my core I'm an illustrator a painter right um, Having that creative director background um, adds a skill set of design to it. So we like to fuse both aspects of art uh, within the work that we produce for our clients. So everything starts with a sketch, uh, which we do here. It's basically one of the more final sketches that I had before I scan it into the computer. And then we take everything and color it there. Check this out. I need you to pan into this monitor right here, okay? And, and what part of the boat wrap are we looking at, Dennis? Well, you had the idea that on the mahi since he's going to be sort of a little aggressive on the aggressive side and have some you know muscle structure to him that, yeah it's a you know, body like, yeah like a tattoo would look cool on the side of him so right. um for the taco marine project boat you know we discussed doing a taco marine project boat tattoo right here is the the logo in vector um, that we created and you can see we can get real tight with our detail there uh, we'll bring that logo um into the mahi file and we can stick it right on his arm um, just how you see it there. Man, that is cool. It's okay, fun. show everybody, okay, show everybody the mahi sure. mahi. Okay, the dolphin fish. Already sure, he's got his, the fish and rod in his hands. There's the flying fish with a sombrero, mm -hmm. the fish taco. Okay, but let's slide through the wrap. Let's slide back. And this is a billboard for the charity, the I'm Logan at Foundation, prominently that's gonna be displayed at a lot of the boat shows, guys. So stop by and see it and, and, and appreciate uh, Dennis's work. You're getting up close, you're gonna lose your mind, okay? How would somebody in the audience, if they ever needed this type of service, how would they get you, the artist, Dennis Friel? Well, you can contact me on my website, uh, dennisfriel.com, or you can always email me, info at dennisfriel.com. This is an older vessel. You don't have a CAD digital profile of the boat for a wrap. How in the world would a boat wrap company go about getting it to fit right? What we do is take this special um, stencil paper, uh, we tape it to the boat, um, we want it to get all the contours from the transom down the bottom of the, of the boat to the bow, and then along the top rail to the back of the boat again so we understand how the curvatures are and the contours are in the boat. Once you have those parameters, do you take it back to your shop in Pompano Beach and, and do you turn it into a digital file? Yes, yes, that's done all in-house. Uh, my designer then takes the uh, stencil and he'll enter it into the computer with calculations that he makes off the stencil. Okay, now Dennis is gonna have to get you that artwork for the boat and you're gonna have to kind of marry those things together but could we talk about the film that we're going to use for this special boat? And I want it to hold up for a long, long time. What are we going to use film-wise? So we're going to go back to the Orfall film that we put on your boat, two mil print film. Uh, it's going to run through our giant printers at, at the large format at the, the office. 
And then we're going to marry it with the six mil protective laminate that goes over the top, which is a kind of industry specialty. Okay, and this is clear. It's clear. And, and, and that you wouldn't believe the depth of field that that gives you and the protection that that gives you away from maybe sinkers or bumping up against something. I'm telling you, this is really, really great stuff. You have ginormous printers. You, you, you can do 70, 80 foot boats, okay? It's absolutely amazing. But if somebody's looking for a boat wrap. Uh, simply go online to IGXBoatWraps.com or IGX2000.com.